Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number one of Claw Pom Chaos. Up against Nurgle, this is going to be tricky actually. I think at 1000 TV, I think Nurgle are pretty good because they've got more strength, haven't they? They've actually got something going for them. Um, okay, they've only got the two rerolls and they've only got one Beastman. But they actually have an angle to attack you with. So I don't think... You know, I think they're kind of tricky to face, even obviously... <laughs> Let's be honest. But they do have Mighty Blow and they do have more strength than you. So they can definitely cause you problems, for sure. I'd rather be playing, you know, High Elves or whatever. I think High Elves, Pro Elves are the best... Best two races to play at 1000 TV. Just because... Even, dar even probably Dark Elves. Just because they haven't really got anything. <laughs> they haven't really got anything to do against you. Okay. They're really risky here. We're going for the win. Um, obviously with a with a heat. Could get fucked on offense. But on the other hand, I think Nurgle are better on defense than offense. So we're going to try and get the turnover to win. It's the plan. And plus I can just restart the team. Can't I can just delete restart if it's a loss. So it can go a bit crazier than normal playing for the win. No point drawing and keeping the team. Yeah, exactly, Odon. Yeah. No, Wood Elves have Wood Elves have dancers. <laughs> Wood Elves. You're almost certainly going to lose. Hello, Harakala. Um but Pro Elves. And high elves haven't really got much going for them. Like dark elves have got four block or three block and a witch, so they've got some things. But they're not great dark elves. But high elves and pro elves are pretty janky at thousand. Yeah, and obviously pro elves better because you've got they've got armor seven, so you've got a good chance of hurting them. More chance of hurting pro elves than you've got of like hurting goblins really, because goblins have got dodge, haven't they? So yeah, I would say the best team for a rookie team to play against is Pro Elves, probably. <laughs> now, different, obviously, if it's a really good coach using them, but, you know, I think, on average, Pro Elves. Halflings have all got dodge. And they've got, they've got two or three guys with Mighty Blow to just crush you. Skaven have gutters. <laughs> Skaven have gutters, so they can just win. They can just win, can't they? they can just, oh, look at this paying off. The decision to kick, instant payoff. Instant full payoff. <laughs> yeah, decided to go on offense after all, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and double, double G five. I'll just go there and try to catch it. Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Jim? Ah, oh, rien, je me curais les dents, Bob. Tu te polissais les crocs, quoi. On est diffusé right. dans tout le vieux monde en cabal visio destiné et rien n'échappe aux spectateurs. Bien que je soigne mon apparence. Here we go. I mean, barring a touchback, which could happen. So the touchback isn't insane odds, is it? Glorious. Wonderful. Hello, Scuron. Lovely little day. blitz there. Beautiful. I mean, it still scatters, doesn't it? Oh, it still scatters. You might as well have this roll the chance to roll a six. Hello, cruiser. Reverse defense. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh god! I love so hopefully this pays off. Get the turnover. Oh, yeah. Going one nil up, and then. Don't get too fucked by heat.
Oh. Ooh. Back. Ah, bastard. That was a pretty good, pretty good fucking bounce for him, wasn't it? It's annoying, mate. There were three great bounces for us. Three great bounces. And then got one of them and then it bounced all the way back out. A lot of horse shit. Look a dog. Look a dog. Good. Now if his reroll's gone. Now I can just base everybody up. And he'll have to block. And if he fails, he's fucked. Wonderful. Herp derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Of course, he might just he might just pass every fucking roll forever, mightn't he? People do do that sometimes. But if he doesn't pass every fucking roll, then uh, it could be all right. Is there a hit on the ball here? Not too much basing, sadly. Almost a half man. No rerolls. So just hope they work. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. This one first. <laughs> All right, so not basing up this turn. He's going to come over here, isn't he? But then plenty of time to uh, get in the way. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, and, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just joking with the the shorty thing but you know because because started well i decided to go do something that i don't normally do which is go for the reliable route of block and stuff and then i regretted it once i got to that kind of 1400 tv where all you know and it's the same criticism that i've leveled at loads of teams just having some block and it's why i've never done it before having some block is just not good enough so i deleted them I made a team that's going to level up properly and have mighty blow and fuck people up. Just fucking people up with claw palm wins games. Having some block people doesn't. Not everyone, but just mostly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. At a thousand TV, they've got string four blitzes on everybody. You know, they've, they've got eleven people who can blitz and string four. They've got three rerolls. They've got they've got more rerolls than than a lot of teams. And they've got defenseless AV8. They've got a lot of defenseless AV8. But then once once teams get a few skills, then they can exploit your defenseless AV8. And, uh, like, better. And then they've already got the basic skills like blocks, so they get guard and mighty blow. And then you're like, shithead chaos, or like, great. Now we've got block. And the team is basically the same. Like, if you just roll good, you, you don't need tackle, do you? If you roll good, you don't need block. <laughs>
Yeah. Simple, isn't it? So you just like, you just end up. Yeah. He's taking a while, isn't he? I'm gonna have to reroll the boat down here, aren't I? Mm. No, I'll do this one. But again, I have to reroll it. There you go. Instant both down. I knew it was something. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, somebody, somebody in OFL. Um, thought of it. The guy in OFL made it. I uh, can't remember his name. Astro Spider. Would have been the guy who made it, I'm pretty sure. There you go. Two one in nines in one turn. Block would have been pretty good that turn, wouldn't it? But, you know, you used a reroll. That's what they're for, isn't it? So, you re so then your rerolls get worth less as well. The more block you have, <laughs> rerolls get worse, don't they? And they cost 60 each. No, they got, they got worse. Way, 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 way. Way worse, Zalash Saga, to the point of making Nurgle completely unviable. <laughs> there you go. That's my opinion. Like, Adge 3 to Adge 2 is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> yeah, Necropotence. Hello, Nuffles Tissue. Yeah. Glory. I don't, is it Nuffles Issue or is it Nuffles Tissue? It's got to be Nuffles Tissue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Rotters were the best 40k players. They were. And now they're the only 35 or, or Peasants 35 as well. And they're the worst. <laughs> they're just garbage. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, is it is it Nuffles? It is, it is Nuffles white rag? Oh, peasants got increased. <laughs> peasants got increased. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Wanky fucking peasants. Oh dear. <laughs> God, how oh, bad are peasants? <laughs> fucking rip. <laughs> goblins, they didn't change goblins to 35, did they? No. Or do you mean hobgoblins? I, I haven't looked at the uh, Teams of Legend, to be honest. <laughs> ah, very good, Ordant. Bullying the Nurgs? Not really, not really. Oh, I don't like this, he's got a good little... Uh, Got a good little thing going on here, hasn't it? But it does mean we'll get a punch the uh, beast. Alright, pit the beast first. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. I know blocking. No, I, I, I guess getting tied up or whatever. Go there. So there's a screen between them and a screen between them. I guess. I haven't failed a foul appearance yet, which is nice, isn't it?
Yeah, Dublin's 40. Yeah, I, I didn't think Dublin's were 35. I thought, I thought I'd have noticed that. Yeah, Bulls have lost break tackle. So Chorf's are pretty shit. No blitz. I often don't do blitzes, don't I? Didn't want to nine it. Look how clever I am. Look at the big brain on Jim. Didn't want in nine. Exactly, Jelly. It was already perfect. How can you improve on perfection? I mean, probably should have blitzed a, uh, a rotter. But I didn't want to blitz a, a warrior. Yeah, exactly, Pedro, yeah. <laughs> no, hold on. No, to be fair, to be fair, hold on. The floor... I didn't understand. Someone posted some bizarre fucking flowcharts on Reddit. On Reddit. I was like, what the fuck are you on? But anyway, um, <laughs> you could make a flowchart and it would be, are you using redraft rules? Yes. Dwarves. No. Elves. And that's it. That's, that's your, uh, that's your, uh, all you need to know for Blood Bowl 2020. Oh, Cookie, Cookie, Cooper. Yep. See, look, Blitz would have been a skull. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Right. I think... One, two, three, four, five. Ah, fuck. Is this the turn? This could be the turn. Maybe it isn't, though. Just put him around the back. There's only one way to beat them. Get round the back. Nah, no, no base, no herb dirt base, base, base. Yeah, I probably should have herb dirt base, base, base already. I'm not gonna do a blitz again. This time on purpose. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna do the blitz now. I could get banged out if I based from there. But it's getting the point where I don't think he's gonna score, and I'd quite like to counter score. I don't think this has really got that nerf, to be honest, in fact. Buffed. I guess it depends what you compare it to, right? If you compare it to Blood Bowl 2016, they got nerfed. Quite a lot, because the claw pom was already gone. Yeah, orcs. Orcs are pretty strong. But the, the thing is, they do need levels on the, on the Black Orcs. Yeah, yeah, I, I tend to play extremely conservative with Rookie Nurgle. You've got to, haven't you, with two rerolls? Yeah, they start with one reroll uh, now. <laughs> lizards, lizards start with one reroll, which which is which isn't good. <laughs> so they're pretty dicey, but I mean they're going to be a terror in, in CCL still, right? Because you'll just restart until you get a concede win as your first game, and then you'll just buy your second reroll instantly. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> or you'll just win your first game. You'll just win your first game and get like you know some money, and then win your second game and get some money, and then you've got two rerolls. So it's fucking sick. It's not. It's it's hardly a nerf. 
especially not in CCL. Especially not in CCL. Yeah, and then and then when you redraft them, then you'll then they'll be good anyway. So it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty cool getting the getting the troll. It's an option, isn't it? I don't think it's a very good option, but at least it's an option. Alright, I guess gotta re-roll this one. Just stood him up first. Don't even need to. No, it's not. No, it's not, Cookie. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not even August. Because what you've said there is ETA, right? And ETA means estimated time of arrival. Now, what they've declared is August. Now, from them declaring August, you can make your own estimated time of arrival, which is not going to be August. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, October, that was funny, wasn't it? I'll just do the one day here, right? Because it can't really fail. The skull he'd be hitting anyway. He can go there to put guys behind, or he can just run forward to put guys in front. I think putting guys in front is alright. And the question, how bad is a 1D skull here? How bad? I've got a minute to think about how bad the skull is. And how good a push is. And how good a both down is, or how bad a both down is. Beer of the Mautan King. The bad thing is it's giving him more time to think about it as well. And I'm not really thinking, so I'm just talking and babbling. Like making him block with a with a with a beast is all right, I guess. But then, it's hard. It's he can't really break through if he stood there. So I guess don't take the block. All right. So three turns of two rerolls. Really got to try and get the turn over here. Yeah, I probably played too. Uh, what's the word? Too, too like, too conservative here. I haven't, I haven't really got in the mixer. I probably should have herp derped earlier. Hey, he's gone really stupid. Glorious, glorious. He used his reroll as well. Right, got to pile in this next turn and get this turn over. <laughs> no, conservative has a meaning as a word, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> doesn't mean that you vote for horrible robbing bastards. <laughs> um, that was disappointing, Kaz, wasn't it? That was a disappointing cast. It is tricky for him to defend the ball here, isn't it? So that's something. I mean, that was why I didn't want to hurt dirt base, 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 because it's pretty easy for him to cast people. And ruin your day. So obviously he has. Yep. 
So now get a really go for the uh, turnover. Please no AV bro. Good. So it's a 3-2 to 2D the ball. And can try to flood through with as much pressure as possible. Two rerolls, maybe you could just blitz and base the ball. Possibility, isn't it? It's a possibility. You can block him, free him. He comes in there and he blocks him and he frees him, so could free him. Is it worth trying to hit the ball this turn? Use a re-roll on it. Maybe. Let's see what happens with these blocks first. Now freeing. He could block him. And then he could come in, he could block him. And then he could power him. And then he can get through. Problem is, if he uses a reroll, then just blitz him and then base. Now, basing seems really shit, though. I think just GFI to get him in is, is good. And he just blocks to free him. Got two turns left. I mean, blitzing and basing is all right, isn't it? But it's not as good as just powering him. The porter risque le plaquage. C'est le genre de situation que j'adore. Ah, désolé de vous faire chier là. Faut que j'intervienne. C'est le gamin du blood bowl. Buter le porteur du ballon avant qu'il ait le temps d'avancer. Baby. Glorious. Glorious. Yes, it's very good that they've nerfed heat. That was some uh that was some dice rolls there, wasn't it? Glorious. <laughs> yeah, pranks to run, yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, normally not trying shit like that, isn't it? That's the thing. I mean, that's a big part of it, isn't it, really? Like, if you just... Like, with Chaos and 1000 TV, you kind of have to try more shit. Not even at 1000, sub-1500, you've got to try more shit. Which means you are going to get luckier, because you're trying to get luckier more. Whereas with dwarves, you're not really going to be very lucky because you're not really trying any dumb shit. I guess you did. You do the occasional four pluses that don't really matter so much. Yeah, yeah, that's true, Sean. Yep, getting the place to the right place, is, getting the place to the right place, is sure does help, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, Z talk. I took too much block. <laughs> that was my problem. Hey. Remade the team because too much block. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. No, the, uh, that, that's why I deleted them. The record wasn't that bad. But they were deleted because of block. Right, I'll just do the pickup first, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. 
Maybe I should try to get another person in scoring range. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it first. Maybe I should have done the blitz first and get in scoring range. But it can only be based. Nice free. Up. KO as well. I don't know why I re don't know why I followed there. That's just giving him a hit of his beast. Pretty stupid. Wonderful power. And also following means I can block him. Oof, that was pretty horrible. Obviously, only 33% to get knocked down is better than 55%. So. There you go. I don't know why I did the auto follow there. Just, I don't know. Not thinking at all. Hey! <laughs> Glorious. Go quickly before he concedes. Good. Alright. Big. Rolls. Big rolls time. Both his KOs come back. Oh, he got fucked! <laughs> yes! Pest and warrior. Three down versus only a warrior. Two down. Glorious! He got proper fucked as well. He got three out of nine fails compared to one out of ten. Glorious! Actually did better on heat for once. <laughs> Thank you, Jelly. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> really proud of, of that dice rolling. That's, uh, that's top quality dice rolling there. Yeah, it's a good logo, isn't it? I don't know whose who's it is. Not mine. Right. I mean, only up by one man, to be fair. But it is nice that he's down his best to go. Outrageous play. Sage <laughs> zero pest build. <laughs> Classic. Don't re roll this? Yeah, that seems. Controlled. Ugh. Yuck. I mean, I could have moved the ball, couldn't I? Didn't even bother. Didn't even bother. Now, oh, yeah, probably should have gone for the three now. Nah. Yeah, could do, I guess. Well, likely you get fucked by the heat, isn't it, with nine rolls against seven? <laughs> Yeah, I read. I really, I really don't see the appeal of Necro. Some people have been saying, like good players have been saying, they like Necro in the new rules, but 
Just because you chose to not score on your whites in normal play before doesn't mean that losing them as an option isn't going to affect how the game's flow at all, does it? Your opponent's knowing that that necro, that that white isn't a scoring threat, cannot be a scoring threat at all. It's less of a scoring threat than a zombie. Your opponent knows that, and that, that's going to affect how every game goes. Yeah, losing the white's ball carrying is such a huge issue. People think that, but I think they underestimate it. I think people underestimate how uh, how big of an effect that will be. Who <laughs> is going poo scored? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, guaranteed doubles on Wolves is alright, isn't it? Can't argue with that. The good thing here is not having to score, isn't it? So you can block there. No. You can block there. Yeah. Blitz here. <laughs> yeah, good. You can block here. Nope. <laughs> Might as well try to dodge out. Okay, didn't die. Yeah, exactly. It's super hard to level the whites. Um, yeah, I think it's it's bad. It's it's bad on offense, defense. I can't remember. Maybe Squirrel Dude can remember. He did a write up of, uh, of you know, this the the Sage Slanesh team. Um, when I played Gadenic, I can't remember, but um, we thought it was either, you know, my feedback. I don't know about we. I don't know what. I don't know what Nick thought. But I remember my feedback was that the no hands on the Demonettes was really terrible, on either offense or defense. Which, uh, I can't remember. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, Pedro. Is it this? I don't know what it is. Oh, no. I'll tell you what it is. It's this. There's the, there's the playlist. And one of those is redrafts. Uh, if you scroll down. Seasons. It's the seventeenth. The seventeenth video is seasons. There you go. Right, so this one gets rerolled. Good. You could blitz and free him, I guess. You can block. Because I don't have to re-roll, so I could just blitz and see what happens. Our sticky getting stuck is terrible, though. Okay. Okay, not 
Fair not fair not fair. not good. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty horrible. This is pretty still still pretty horrible actually having nine players for offense. Even against eight, it's it's uncomfortable. At least he doesn't have uh, at least he doesn't have horns to hit the ball. Yeah, free stabs for Els is alright, isn't it? Uh, it's not completely shot of leaping, and that's not even that much of a gimmick. <laughs> oh dear, Pedro. Ah, thank you very much. Okay, that is not what I. That is no, I'm sure. Oh. There was more, wasn't there? There was. There was more. I'm sure there was more. Or it was about the no hands. It was. It was bad on offense or defense. The, the the lack of sure hands was bad on offense or defense. I, mean, I can't remember which one it was. Oh, good, good. Fuck you, Shawnee. <laughs> Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. Good. The aspiring block tacklers fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill. There was something about about when um, there was something about the 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 no hands being really bad on offense or defense. I can't remember. I really felt like the lack of. Hands on offense or defense. Probably wasn't so bad on offense. It, it was probably on defense, the lack of no hands, yeah. I, I guess uh, thinking about it logically, it's probably on defense that the lack of the lack of hands is worse. Because okay, on your offensive drive, you know, you carry on your on your whites and uh, fuck off on your whites. Fucking idiot camera shift um, on your offense you carry on your uh, on your players don't you on your offense you carry on your you carry on your wolf whatever but then on defense when you turn them over you haven't always got a character in the right spot to do exactly what you need do you and uh, in those situations the lack of hands is is an issue. God. Pretty disappointing to have a guy die, to be honest, in the first game. But there you go. It's chaos, isn't it? <laughs> of AV breaks, yeah. <laughs> Knockdowns, maybe. No AV breaks. It is a restart, yeah, kill. Too much block is the reason for the restart. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would back. I would. I would agree with that, Jelly. I would agree. I would agree with that. With all due respect to him, I'm sure he's a lovely chap. <laughs> Maybe idiot is a bit strong. Not good at blood ball is is more accurate, isn't it? Like it doesn't mean that. Someone's an idiot. Because they make <laughs> bad plays at Blood Bowl. I've got both hands. No, I've, I've got a I've got a friend. I've got a friend who is uh who is 
you know, by any measure, very, very smart. But he's just shit at Blood Bowl and other games like Blood Bowl. It's okay, isn't it? Whee! They're not fake. They move, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ricardo, <Ricardo's>, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really extreme, isn't it? And you know, okay, you might be able to, uh, you might be able to min max them a bit and what have you. But, kind of doesn't seem worth it to me. Like, I think it's overall bad. Even if those players are good, I think it's overall bad. I'm gonna put him on there. Means he's got, we've got just opened a gaping hole in the center. I'll be honest, I didn't think of the gaping hole. I just thought, I just thought, ooh, putting him on him is a good idea. I should have gone further back if I was going to put him on him. I can, I can only base the ball on him. Not an issue. Yeah, but even then they're expensive, aren't they, Jelly Earl? And like, you want multiple skills in your wolves. Like, any player that wants multiple skills is worse. Like, um... You know, like, that that's the problem with Orcs. Okay, your four blitzers are great. But your Black Orcs want multiple skills. And Saurus want multiple skills. And Chaos definitely want multiple skills. But Dwarves just need Guard. So Dwarves are the best, because they get the ultimate redraft. They never need to... They never, ever, ever, ever need to redraft a multi-season Longbeard. Ever. Which is insane. And like obviously sometimes they will. Because like you might as well and stuff. But they never need to. <laughs> they don't take block all which is good microphones. <laughs> it's taking block that's bad. He's gonna double G if I had to face the ball, isn't he? I already know it, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna ugly on this guy, or one in nine. <laughs> now I could have just moved. I could have just thought of doing this first, and then moved him back one square and not being based. Yeah, so like you know, elves will be pretty good in that they can just get dodge and be pretty much finished. <laughs> yeah, no components, yeah. Uh, okay, so he's not basing the ball. But he's running out of time to do things now. Hey. Yeah, Delves are pretty good, aren't they? They've got six players that just need one skill. I mean, basically, man, Dubs might as well do this block first. Alright, that's still gonna be using fuck off over there. Well, you you passed when you'd already won, Jelly. Be honest. <laughs> no, I wanna blitz with him maybe if that ugly. Oh shit. Now I've got a bit of fuck. Yeah, having losing the option is Yeah, there you go. Losing the option is a thing, isn't it? Like that's that's the thing. L losing the option is uh oh god. Well that was a big fuck up. I should have moved him first. But then I wanted a bit of blitz if I uglied. But then by pushing, 
I had to push him there and had to blitz and then ugly anyways. I don't know. Six and two throws. Nah. He's only got one reroll. Let him roll the dice. He's got to, bear in mind he's gotta put it in the he's gotta put it in the end zone as well, hasn't he? I guess I had a re-roll, so I could have re-rolled the dodge. No, I didn't like failing the dodge. Failing the dodge looks horrible. But... There you go. Yeah, Assassin's terrible. Everyone who doesn't play, who hasn't played Assassins, think thought that they needed movement, uh, and obviously terrible players as well. Um, but <laughs> I've probably played more Assassins than anyone else <laughs> in that I've played some games with two Assassins, and they need fucking they need armor eight. They just need it. They need armor it so bad. Hey. Yeah, exactly, Joey. That's the thing, right? That's the thing. Let him roll the dice. Yes, simply a sensei. Yeah, new team. I took too much block on the previous team, so. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. I don't want one in nine with ball carrier. I'm just going to double GFI. You could do, yeah, but you could do. Yeah, at least at least they're better than a, yeah. At least they've got something over a line on now, yeah, yeah. But a lot of people thought that they would be better with movement, and I was always like, no, they need AV because you want them to mark players so that they can stab them. Oh God, yeah, that was super easy, wasn't it? That was super easy. It just given the three plus. I guess I could have gone two more back. Um, again, I didn't want to invite him on too hard, did I? So. Nah, nah, but I mean, obviously they're better, right? Obviously, if you just add something to something, it's better. But movement is not what they needed. They needed, uh, yeah, but what if I just push Cruiser? If I just push, then he's got a 3 plus easy. So, at least this way you had to make the block and do the 3+. plus. If I pound him, it's good, obviously, but... I was, you know, like, it's so, such a dominant position that I just wanted to... Uh... To not fuck it up. Yeah, that's a one little win, isn't it? I had a reroll, so I guess I could have played like I had a reroll. <laughs> I guess there was no point in playing like I didn't have a reroll. He's obviously can't score. Give him a cheeky foul. The ball carrier for the hidden plus two. Terrible run up. But never mind. Oh yeah, Vanity Pass might have been an idea. <laughs> that 
might have been a better idea than a pointless foul. What was the foul? Six and a one. Wouldn't have made the pass. Right decision. But yeah, no, it would have been, yeah. Should have done the vanity pass. That was the right play, wasn't it? Thanks, Cruiser. I'm happy with that. I mean, I think played all right. Obviously, Nurgle diced him with the uh, diced him with the things, and kept Nurgle were a bit shit. But you know, he diced us with the cards, didn't he? Two cards to zero. A glorious eight SPP game, yeah. Rolling in SPPs. Rolling in fucking SPPs. What a glorious match. Maybe not even an eight SPP game. It could be a three SPP game because Shawnee's dead. Hello, Papa Piccolo. <laughs> Hello, Alan Coplia. <sighs> yeah, end the fucking turn. Man. Yeah, I'm not an audio. No. There's really no excuse for taking Sean on the team. Even if he legitimately and buys his way into the team. Sake. End the fucking say, turn, man! I should have disclaimers like his. <laughs> like his. I'll answer your question if I want to. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, God. Yeah, maybe Frosty, maybe. Oh, <laughs> really bad. Oh no, Shawnee. I need, I need, I need the, I need the disclaimer. I need the Shawnee disclaimer of. I'll read, I'll read your comment. I won't guarantee that I'll read it out on stream though. <laughs> I won't guarantee that I'll read it out loud. <laughs> right, well, that was all right, wasn't it? And uh, five SPP for a warrior is good. It is, yeah, Papa Piccolo took too much block. Remade them. Glorious. Probably, yeah. Probably did something right, Frosty. Three whole blocks. What a uh, what a contribution from a Chaos Warrior. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.